Hey everyone! Uh, this week we are going to look at a very easy uh, bass line for the song Fujiyama Mama. We're going to do two videos to cover this song because the first thing I want to do is a beginner's version where I teach you a standard bass line that will work for the whole of the Fujiyama Mama song. And the second video I'm going to do, which will be coming out in two weeks time, uh, is where we use the Fujiyama Mama to learn how to improvise around the chords in Fujiyama Mama and come up with a few ideas where we can start to learn to put our own slant on different tracks. Let's have a look at how the track is composed and what chords are in the song before we move forward. If you are a patron, um, then the chart will be up on the patron downloads page. Uh, if you're not a patron, you can find out how to become a patron at the end of this video. So we're going to start with, um, there are quite a few stops at the beginning of the song. So the guitar and the bass have, and the drums do a kind of a roll, the guitar and the bass do a... Okay, so that's the opening of the song and I'll put that with the vocals. So it comes in, we've got... Okay, so we'll look up to there to start with. So all you've got in the bass is you have your open E and your open A. So we're using a single slap technique. Okay, so it literally is pull. So you're pulling the E and then the A on the stop. So the E hangs a little, hangs a little in the air. Is a very quick muted so we slap and we mute it straight away with our left hand whereas the E you leave bring in. You can do a little return if you want to it depends on what your drummer's doing. So you've got that three times and that comes between the vocals. So you've got and then you have four open A's with a slap return technique. Slap return, four open A's. So this is where the song turns into a traditional 12 bar blues. So the song is in the key of A major. Um, when we do the improv, improv video, we're going to look at the scale of A major, but for now we're just gonna know that it's in A major. So the first four bars of a 12 bar blues we know are in the chord number one, and chord number one is, this, is A. These stops are all the A chords. You've got bars so then we know we go on to the four chord and the four chord in the key of A is D so we're literally going to use um, what we call a triad which is the first note the third note and the fifth note of the chord so the chord is a D major chord and the notes you're going to use is an open D an open F, uh, it's not open is it an F sharp which is all fingers down on uh, shifted down one position on that D string and then the A that we're going to use is just under your finger there so it's shifted down one position and then you've got your first finger on that G string and we're going to use a little pattern so it's going to go like this so we've got D, F sharp, A, F sharp so with the vocals from the beginning I'll show you where that comes in and then it goes into the D Fujiyama mama and I'm just about to blow my. So we've done two lots of the D. So we've got D, F sharp, A, F sharp, D, F sharp, A, F sharp. And then it's top Fujiyama Yama. Fujiyama. So we've got two bars of A, and what we're doing is we've got an open A, C sharp, which is the same position as that F sharp, E, which is the first finger on the D string, F sharp again. A, F sharp, E, C sharp. Okay? So it's Fujiyama Yama, Fujiyama. Stop on the C sharp. Then we have, so it's a slightly alternated 12 bar blues. So we've done the one chord for four bars. Then we've got the four chord for two bars. Then we have the one chord for two bars. And then you sometimes have the five for two bars back to the one. 
Well, sometimes you can have five, four, and then back to the one, and this is that situation. So the five chord in A is E. We're gonna do here a, just a run, an arpeggio in E. So we're gonna go from the open string for E, all fingers down, shifted one, there for the G sharp, B, first finger, and E, first finger. Okay, so it's literally our and then we're going to switch to the four chord, which is the D. So from here, we're only going to move down one note and open D here. F sharp. A, F sharp. So that's the same pattern we did on the D earlier. And then we're going to finish it off with two bars of A, which we're going to do the same run pattern as we did before. Like that. So it's your standard 12 bar blues, chord one chord four, chord one, chord five, chord four, chord one. So let's look at that again from the beginning. So you have your stops. most of the time you have it's the same notes okay so you go down the a f sharp a and it kind of does a little da -da. so you can hear it on the guitar and the bass in the original recording it's just a slightly different rhythm and that usually ends the section because then you go back into the stops so as the song goes the second one is drink a quarter second again because that's the, the next verse is where the guitar takes the solo he does a little bit of a same thing again other instrumental and then there's the final verse and there's a very slight difference on the very final verse so we're just going to end the song so this is the final vocal verse we have I do an A, B, first finger down, but move one down, all fingers down, C sharp, open D, E, again, move one down, and then I run it down with a little B, B flat, A. So it's basically three notes next to each other here. So you've got all fingers down, two fingers down, one finger down there on that string, all shifted down one. Everything you do in this song, your hand is shifted down and you never, you're never up at this position unless you're improvising and that's what we're gonna cover in the next video. So just run that very last progression. And there you have it. You can now play Fujiyama Mama from top to bottom. If you wanna become a patron of the channel, um, you can have access to a private Facebook group where you can post videos and I'll give you some feedback and we can comment, ask questions. Um, I'm present pretty much 
every other day at least. Um, and you also get all the downloads on the videos and that's just £3 a month on Patreon, which is patreon.com slash bamboozlehq. Um, and there are also other tiers which go up in, in price, but also in benefits you get from each different tier. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you've got any questions or comments, please do comment below and I'll get back to you. And I'll see you next time.